so very good morning to all the students of class 10 3 it's good afternoon rather so very good afternoon to you all uh, uh we are going to continue very interesting poem now the name seems to be very strange but when we read it it is very interesting the tale of custard the dragon and you know when we read this poem it reminds us of our childhood days uh, the how we would you know relish the cartoon channel and how we would see a lot of characters in which many animated animals are there and they are talking to each other then jungle book was there fine mogli and such kind of uh, you know uh, relishing you can have here refreshing time in, while reading this poem the tale means a story of custard the dragon dragon is one of the characters prominent characters and the custard is his name fine ogden nash is the poet of this poem you should remember okay ogden nash is the poet of this poem so we have characters let me introduce once again those who were not there for that that say i'm repeating belinda is little girl fine and she has owned four pets okay char pet hai uske one is kitten one is mouse and they have you know given colors also black colored kitten gray colored mouse and yellow colored dog and she has named them also we will read it in the poem once again and then dragon dragon she has named him custard fine who will tell me the names of all characters i'll be showing you and then one pirate also has entered our poem clear yeah. so what we have read so far let me tell you belinda considers herself and her pets brave except a dragon okay so this poem is actually written in the form of a ballad what is a ballad who will tell me yes isha preet will you tell us what is a ballad that day you explained so well what is a ballad do you know no ma'am no idea okay no idea that day you were there but even then you have not you can mute yourself yes tania knows the answer ma'am ballad is the poem that tells a story yes ballad is the poem that tells a story clear so uh ballad is a poem that tells a story and in this poem we have a story of this little girl belinda and who has on four pets and then she considers herself as brave and courageous and she calls other pets also kitten mouse and dog they all have high airs about themselves ki hamare jaisa koi hai nahi hai fine and they start underestimating dragon and dragon is considered to be very ferocious animal in which you can say uh, having the fire in the mouth and you know the st sturdy body and too huge and all but in this poem a dragon who is considered to be huge in reality is considered to be very you can say a uh, coward fine der pok mana gaya usko and then when a pirate enters their house pirate is the person who is going to with the intention of robbing and killing the people the person who enters to rob the ship it's uh, etc usko hum pirate bol dete hain and now that person has come there and what will be the reaction of these courageous people and the most coward jisko unhone declare kiya hai dragon what will be the reaction of the dragon that is to be seen theek okay? hai so we have read many stanzas now let me continue See. Yes, Peter. Can you see the picture? Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of beers, and ink and blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage, but custard cried for a nice safe cage. So this stanza has actually taken up the, uh, you can say, traits of these creatures. Fine. So you must relish this picture. This is the little girl Belinda. Fine. Barrel full of beers means a person without. fear so she considers herself that she is fearless she is very brave she does not scare at all by others and then we have this black little kitten who is also courageous and this gray colored mouse also 
Fine, ink and blink are the names of these two creatures, and then we have this mustard. Mustard is the name of this dog. Why he is called mustard? Because he is yellow in color. Fine, that's why his name is mustard. And he also thinks that he is brave. But they consider this uh, uh, creature coward. Why do they consider him? See, he's have these. He's hale and hearty, but even then they consider him. uh very you can say coward but they keep on you know insulting this uh, creature also and he is not able to do anything and uh, because he cries for a nice safe cage so he prefers safety at first and you know for that sake he's being uh, at the butt of the jokes of the others and he's being called stupid and coward fine so belinda is like uh fine ink and blink i think we can chase lions also Means we are so courageous, this mouse and cat, and he says that I am just like a tiger. So these are the you can say similes. We will do poetic devices, but I am just uh, introducing the traits of these characters. Is it clear to you all? Clear, eh? Now let me introduce the entry of the. See, see this picture, beautiful picture carrying this. Ah, uh, यहाँ तक हम read कर चुके हैं, you know. Uh, so let me tell you in brief that in the beginning uh, poet has narrated the traits of these characters and when the entry of this is the pirate you can see the man you know literally he has this appear as pirates as in nazar mein aate hain one tin leg and one leg is there one leg is not there and pointed nose and big beard and fine they have mentioned the appearance of pirate also clear and uh, now belinda you know is who considers herself to be brave let let me tell you what will be the reaction of this belinda as well as other creatures fine this is the wagon where all the animals are being carried red colored wagon ki baat hui hai na jo isme so all these animals like mouse dog and kitten they are sitting in the wagon because they are small creatures and this big uh, custard who is very timid and who is very covered he is outside because he cannot fit in this wagon fine so everybody is scared when this pirate comes you know everybody is so scared otherwise they say that we are so brave we are you know we can chase lions and we can uh, be as courageous as tigers but now the pirate has entered now what will be the reaction you can see fine all of them were making fun of the dragon and when they heard the sound someone entering the house and when they look forward towards the window they saw a pirate climbing up the wall fine a dog barked at him kitten mewed also and belinda is crying ooh because all of them are scared of the pirate fine so this is uh, the picture showing this jahan tak humne apna narrate kiya hai clear and now let me share this poem with you all yahan tak hum pad chuke the pistol in the left pistol in the right and he held in his teeth the cutlass bright cutlass is that small sword fine his bird was black one leg was wood sorry wood wooden leg fine it was clear that the pirate meant no good yahan tak humne padha hai let me uh, repeat again the stanza in this uh, stanza poet ogden nash he says that when pirate entered the ship uh, entered the house of this uh, belinda he was having pistol in his left hand that gun and right in the right hand also fine and then he was holding a cutlass that a, a small pointed object just like a sword chhota sa knife jaise jisko keh dete knife se bada hota hai but sword se chhota so that is known as cutlass so he was holding that cutlass in his teeth and his beard was black in color fine and leg was wood one leg was of wood and it was clear by seeing this pirate that he meant no good that he is not there for some good purpose he is going to scare them all he is going to do something bad to them belinda paled and she cried help help but mustard fled with a terrified yelp ink trickled down to the bottom of the house pole and little mouse blink strategically mouse hold see in the time of need only we will realize that who is going to help us so when all of them saw the pirate <coughs> they got frightened who considers uh, consider themselves to be brave but now they you know they got scared actually belinda she started turning pale pale means yellowish in color uski shakal dekhne wali thi us type she started turning pale and she started shouting help help fine and then 
Belinda was so frightened that she started uh, crying for help, and Mustard, the dog, started crying for help too. Fine. And yelp here means again he started fleeing here and there. He started running here and there for help. There, what to do now? That mouse, <coughs> you know, went into the mouse hole. This is the safest place for a mouse. And ink, that black colored kitten, and it also found a safer place. Fine, ran down towards the bottom of the house and already as if he has planned to save himself. So he ran towards the bottom of the house, that cat and little mouse is hiding himself in the mouse hole. So this is the reaction. But up jumped custard, snorting like an engine, clashed his tail like irons in a dungeon. With a clatter and a clank and a jangling squirm, he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. See, let me show you for this stanza also, I have a picture for you. See, beautiful picture depicting the courage of dragon. All are, you know, they have taken back steps. Belinda and all three creatures, mouse, cat and dog, they have taken the back steps. So when the pirate, exactly this is the look of the pirate I have uh, saved for you. So this dragon who is considered coward and timid and who's very, you know, he was always being rebuked by them and scolded by them. He came forward to help all these creatures in need of help. Asli, tabhi pata lagta kisi insaan ka. When there is a dire need, when who uh, comes forward to help you. So this dragon comes forward to help and see, he is going to show his real side that when in need he's uh, fighting with this pirate who is having you see cutlass in the mouth guns in both the hand this uh, fine hand guns are there and uh, one leg wooden and one eye covered with this and having this uh, wearing this hat so this is the appearance you liking this picture actually now let's continue this you know when we see an image that makes it more interesting for you to learn. So up jumped <clears throat> when all other characters were, you know, uh, who earlier were defining it themselves as brave. Dragon was the most unexpected of all of them who jumped for help, snorting like an engine. This is also simile. The way engine starts, he jumped onto the pirate and made such a strong sound, snorting, uh, like snoring, snorting is also the high sound. The way an engine starts and it produces very high sound, just like when it jumped onto that man it and while producing the very high pitched noise and uh, as if engine was producing a sound, not only this, he hit his tall, uh, you can say tail on the ground with great force. And you know, with uh, as if a metal being rubbed against each other and in the underground prisons. And he attacked the pirate just as uh, you can say, uh, they have mentioned just like a robin. Uh, robin beta bird ko kehte hai. Ek robin bird hota hai. When it attacks the worm, it is very quick. Very quick. So they have compared that action that, you know, just like a robin bird, attacks a worm chota sa jo keeda hota hai so similarly this uh, pirate was attacked by this dragon fine with a with a clatter and a clank means such a high third sound it produced and with the jangling squirm clear when we jump jangling squirm is when a hard object touches the ground and it produces the sound use word jangling squirm. Fine. So please note down the meanings. Dungeon means underground prison. Dungeon, this word means underground prison. Clashed means fought. Snorting means make a sudden explosive sound. <clears throat> sudden explosive sound. It is a, like a story only, so that's why it's a ballad. It, it takes time. Dungeon is clear underground prison. So clatter, clank is sound of hard object falling on each other. So clitter and clanky was at the age when heavy objects fall on each other. Jangling scum, I told you already, sound of hard, hard object. Fine. <coughs> Robin is a bird. Clear a better subco, please tell me. 
Is it clear? Shall I move forward? Ye stanza kisi ko doubt to nahi koi bhi. The pirate gaped at Belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his. Is point me beta maximum literary devices hai. Ek din to literary devices karne mein nikal jayega. That much they have used. The pirate gaped at Belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets, but they didn't hit, and custard gobbled him every bit. Gaped means stared with wide mouth open. मुंह खोल के किसी को देखना gaping उसको बोलते हैं. Pirate gaped. Fine. Gulping means swallow. कुछ अंदर निकल लेना. Grog means grog is a drink. Fine. फ्लैगन इज अ कंटेनर मेड ऑफ सिल्वर आपने देखा ना कुछ लोग अपने पॉकेट से निकालते हैं ड्रिंक सिल्वर कलर्ड बॉटल स्मॉल बॉटल एंड देन दे दैट इज ग्रॉग फ्रॉम देयर पॉकेट फ्लैगन फाइन सो फ्लैगन इज अ कंटेनर मेड ऑफ सिल्वर ग्रॉग इज अ ड्रिंक गर्लपिंग मीन्स स्वॉलो गोबल्ड मीन्स स्वॉलोइंग वेरी फास्ट गोबलिंग फटाफट से खा जाना पी जाना कुछ चीज को क्लियर है मीनिंग सो when pirate you know he was looking with mouth open gaping means with mouth open he was looking at the dragon he was so shocked he put uh, took out his grog from his uh, silver colored bottle uh, having grog from his pocket and he gulped it down he swallowed it and he fired two bullets and after drinking he fired two bullets at the dragon but they did not fortunately the bullets did not hit the dragon and custard gobbled him every bit to the very shock of all the creatures it was the custard the dragon who swallowed the pirate every bit usne pirate ko nigal liya he swallowed hurriedly isse pehle ki wo kuch karta he swallowed the pirate belinda embraced him mustard licked him no one mourned for his Pirate victim, ink and blink and glee and great around the dragon that are ate the pirate. Now suddenly the reaction changes. You know, uh, embraced means to hug someone. Fine, licking. You know that the dogs, uh, the way dogs show their love by licking the person by using their tongue. Fine, mourn means crying for the person who's dead. Fine. uh gyrat here means danced please note down the meaning word meanings beta gyrat means dancing glee means happiness so when belinda saw this uh, incident that he has swallowed this man she hugged the dragon and mustered that dog started licking the dragon nobody was crying for this victim that pirate who got died in this incident but everybody was so happy and they in jump they were jumping with they were merry making and they started gyrating they started dancing around the dragon who ate the pirate clear meanings are clear beta but we are about to finish this poem okay but presently up spoke little dog mustard i would have been twice as brave if i had not been flustered and up spoke ink and up spoke blink we would have been three times as brave we think and custard said i quite agree that everybody is braver than me beautiful stanza this is beta ye bahut logo ki kahani suna raha hai actually this stanza is after they thanked the dragon you know after thanking him and merry making and dancing then little dog must now they thought ki agar hum iski praise karenge that he has saved us you know he is the one who saved our lives that will be very rude and how we will be showing our super messy hamari super messy kahan pe nazar aayegi so we have to pretend now that we are also courageous now they the the people who are same they will remain same <coughs> after praising him they started saying ki agar main hota teri jagah i would have been twice as brave i would have shown my bravery twice double times and if i had not been flustered fine uh, see how flustered means confused beta agar main confused na na hota the dog i would have shown the courage twice than you showed and up spoke ink and up spoke blink up ink or blink ko laga acha ma uh, dog is saying like this we should also say something we would have been three times as brave acha to do time brave hota we would have shown thrice we think hame lagta hai and custard said okay i agree everybody is braver than me so i'm not brave 
everybody else is you are braver than me so he said this is the quality of a humble person you know humble people will never uh, you know show their super messy even then they are superb people but they will never say it belinda still lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little gray mouse and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her really or truly old little pet dragon so at last poet used the same lines again to show that कोई बता सकता है सेम लाइन क्यों ऐसे यूज हुई है एनी बडी कैन टेल मी बिलिंडा स्टिल लिव इन लिटिल व्हाइट हाउस विद लिटिल ब्लैक किचन एंड लिटिल क्यों सेम लाइन इन द बिगिनिंग दिस टेंजा इज देर इन द बिगिनिंग एंड अगेन एट द लास्ट एक्चुअली देर वॉज नो इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दिस टेरिफाइंग इंसिडेंट ऑन दीज क्रीचर्स बिलिंडा इज एज ब्रेव इज बैरल फुल ऑफ बियर्स इन कैन ब्लिंग चेज लाइन डाउन द स्टीयर्स Mustard is as brave as tiger in a rage, but custard keeps crying for a nice safe cage. Ogden Nash, beautifully written by this poet. These two stanzas are the repeated stanzas, which beginning we have done in the beginning. So, according to poet, there was no impact of this terrifying incident on any of the creatures on Belinda also. Even after being saved by this dragon. they are living same lives they are showing their super messy they are talking about their uh, preferences in life and they are better than others and belinda considers herself as brave free of fear in can blink again chase they say that they can chase loins fine beginning mein jahan pe the ending bhi wahi pe ki hai fine after this incident again so they have uh, they have come to same place once again ki i am brave they are brave he is brave and he is covered what does it show about our society this is you can say very ironical very ironical this is can anybody tell me about this that how this change there is no change at all in their behavior so what do we learn about this thing what do we learn किसी को आइडिया है व्हाट वी हैव लर्न आउट ऑफ दिस पोएम नॉट अ सिंगल हैंड रेस्ड डोंट नो यस सेम यू टेल मी यस तानिया इज राइटिंग इन द चैट बॉक्स नेवर हैव सुपीरियोरिटी सो वी शुड नॉट हैव सुपीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स फाइन और और क्या सीखे हमने Yes, weak people can also be courageous. Yes, never underestimate others. This is the basic lesson. Firstly, never underestimate others, and do not judge others. Never underestimate others. किसी को and do not consider yourself superior than others. Others can have the other qualities. They might not show it. They are not swanking it around in front of the people. they do have this but even then they are not showing it to others so this is their humbleness find the more uh, the more successful people in this world are those who are very humble you know jinko show karne ki aadat nahi hoti show wohi karega the one who is not at all humble and they will also keep on bragging about their yes never underestimate timid ones no one knows how courageous they are yes dakshita well done so dakshita says we should not underestimate the timid people because no one knows how courageous they are and how courageous they can be in the need of situation also clear so we are left with beta uh question answers and literary devices also bahut zyada literary devices use hui hain isme so your homework is yes never give up aryan has given one more theme never give up yes we can consider it secondary basis yeah so uh we will do literary devices and question answers tomorrow your homework is read the poem thoroughly if you have any doubt do let me know fine we will do uh, literary devices uh one lecture on that and along with that question answers and you will be giving me the answers of all i won't be giving you the answers क्योंकि बहुत ही डिटेल में हमने ये पोएम कर लिया है 
because there is a story inside this poem that's make it a ballad okay any doubt to anyone tell me sabko clear hai show me your uh, feedback jaldi se if any doubt is there to anyone 